Hello everybody, hello I'm gaming here, Trans the Gamer, and today I'm bringing you guys a new video, and in this video today we're going to be starting someone new. We are going to be playing a game called the Game Dev Tycoon. Basically in this game, it's like all your average tycoon games, but basically you start from a bottom inside a garage and you work your way to the top. We're going to see how we can do in this, um, so yeah, I guess let's go, okay. So, welcome to Game Dev Tycoon. Business In this business simulation, you have the... Ugh, You've been transported back in time to start your very own game development company. Right at the beginning of the PC revolution, in the next 35 years, you can build your dream company. Create best-selling games, gain fans, and become the leader of the market. Yes, and we are going to, guys. We got, we got it. Okay. <coughs> wow. <coughs> Sorry. Before you can start your adventure, you must give your upcoming company a name. Okay. Um, wait, uh, there, um... It's... These friends' sweaters are ugly. Um, what is this? Uh, game length. We can do 42 years. Ah, since it started. A uh, company name. Um... Uh, I got it, guys. It, uh, sh sh shits and... Goggles, yeah, shits and goggles. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Wait, I'm like, kid. Since you've played this game before, oh yeah. Right before this, I just tested it out to see how everything worked in this. I didn't really do much in it, so. Um, would you like to import all the previous game hands? Yes. Okay. Okay. So what's happening? Just click on stuff. Oh yeah. So basically, what we have to start out by doing is we have to start by making a whole new game. So basically, we're gonna click here and we're gonna click develop new game. Uh, game, uh, game concept. Um, we gotta think of a name. Uh, okay. Uh, drill, dr drill in bits. Yeah. Okay. Pick topic. Um, city, uh, pick genre, simulation, and we are going to go with the G64. Okay, so we're going to go with 2D graphics because we're going to start our game at the top, guys. Okay, so basically what it's doing now is it's collecting points for, like, our guy to, like, level up, um, and basically telling us how much design technology and bugs are in the game. Wait, okay, so now, right now, we, um, game developed stage one. Drill and bits, city simulation. This is how much of, how much of everything we're gonna put in here. So we can put the engine at that, um, gameplay is gonna have to be big with this. And story and quest is gonna be pretty big, too. Um, put story and quest to the top, gameplay to the top, engine about there. Okay. So that should go well. Okay, so... Oh, we got a bug. We gotta get rid of these bugs. Go and get some crab away. Okay. Um, dialogues. Uh, level design's gonna have to be pretty big. Artificial intelligence is gonna be that much. And dialogues are, like, uh, like that. Okay. Ah, come on. No, we got another bug! They're spreading, like, fleas. Okay. Um, world design... Uh, graphics, up, sound, there, okay, um, okay, so, oh my god, we have so many bugs, but we're doing so good here, okay, the game is done, boy, our bugs are gone, yes, oh, oh, are you, are you still doing stuff, he's still doing stuff, wait a second, I'm gonna see how much he can get up to here, okay, I think he's done, Okay, so we're gonna click finish, and it, okay, now it's giving us our experience. Um, okay, we're doing pretty good here, actually. All right. Okay, so we're gonna release the game. Let's see how good this does. Okay, so we only have eleven thousand dollars left out of the. F I don't remember how much we had. Um, first game review, wait, our first reviews for our newly released game, Drill and Bits, came in. Okay, how is this doing? Oh, wait, higher.
Yeah. That's actually really good for our first game. That's really good. You usually only see like twos and threes. That's actually very good. Okay, shits and goggles. A newcomer in the game industry has just released the first game drill and bits. The only the, the game had moderate response from me viewers and were curious what shits and giggles were will deliver in the future. Okay. So now what we have to do is we have to click him, we click generate game report and select. Basically what this will do is like um oh wait. Oh we just sold we just made twenty six thousand dollars off of this and we got twenty eight fans. We sold almost 4,000 games in the first week. We made top 99. We've gotten 28 fans. That's actually really good. Wow. Oh, and we're still selling more. 15, another 15k. Another 16 fans. We got 40. Dude, this game is doing amazing. Oh, wait a second. Hey, everyone's are getting emails. We will complete. We got the following results. City simulation is a great combination. Sound seems to be quite important for this type of game. Platform gender match, 64 simulation. Good. Okay. So, what we, we've we lost 8k, but we've made so much. Oh my gosh, guys. We're doing so good here. Jesus. I've never made, like, I played this once, and the first time I did the game, I only did the, I only did, like, the first game, and then, like, I stopped, because I was just getting a hang of things, but I only sold, like, a thousand copies, and I've only, I only made, like, seven thousand dollars. We've made over, we've made over forty thousand dollars here. Okay, recent market studies showed that the Gavador G64 is steadily outselling competitors, in the PC sector, consumers prefer the lower price, greater availability, and flexible hardware configuration over their own computers. Okay. Experts say that this might spell an end competing hardware manufacturers. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to click here. We're going to do research. And, okay, we don't have enough. We're going to go and we're going to get post-apocalyptic. And we're gonna start research on that. Research on that. Um, we okay. Drill and bits is now off the market. It sold nine thousand four hundred ninety-five units, generating sixty-six thousand dollars in sales. No. Holy shit. Okay. Um, I. I ooh. Um, I should just. Uh, okay. Is this the garage? Yeah, this is the garage. It has to be the garage. Okay. So finish up here. Okay, you successfully researched a new topic post-apocalyptic. Ah, I can't talk. Okay, so we're gonna go for and make a new game. Um, we're gonna do the post-apocalyptic. Post so basically, that's like how like the Fallout games are, like post-apocalyptic. Post I can't say that word. Um, basically, like nuclear attacks or Fallout situations, um, national things. That happened. Okay, po we're gonna do post apocalyptic. We're gonna do an action. Okay. But what are we gonna what are we gonna what are we gonna name the game? Uh okay, wait a second. I gotta think of this name. I got it guys. I'm not copying from Fallout, but this is what we're doing. We're gonna be uh jumping like okay, so Fallout we're gonna do jump in yeah and then we're gonna do uh new jersey <laughs> I'm, I'm totally not ripping out fallout new vegas at all jump in new jersey yeah 2d graphics start development we got this okay yeah <laughs> all right i think we should leave everything the same here um let's see how good this is going this is actually going pretty good there's no bugs so far okay um Dialogues don't need to be that important here. Artificial intelligence need to be pretty high. Okay. No bug. Okay, one bug so far. According to rumors, the Japanese company Nintendo is planning to launch its very own home gaming console. Nintendo is known for the widely successful arcade game Dinky Kong. Dinky King. Okay. Many industries experts doubt that the home gaming consoles will take off, but we are eager to see what Nintendo will deliver. So we got okay. We're doing pretty good here. Um, okay. 
We got this. Um, sound. Um, we need pretty good in this. Graphics will need to be good, and world design will need to be pretty good. Okay. Oh, I just got three bugs. Wait, warning your bank account is in red. Um, thankfully your bank account has enabled you to overdraw your account up to $50,000. Be careful, your account balance is below $50,000, you will go bankrupt. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, game is finished, let's get rid of these bugs. Okay, is there gonna add any more design or technology? Okay. Come on, a few more. Got you, you, you got it. Alright, he's not doing it. Alright. Pretty good. Okay, we need to make some money off of this game though, because we've overdrawn $13,000 on our account. Okay, first reviews have come to a really save. You jump in, and jump in New Jersey. Oh? Yeah. Ah. I'm gonna go grab myself to sleep. Oh my god, guys, scratch that. The Nevento has confirmed recent rumors and announced the plans to release a new gaming system called the Tesla in the early next year. The guys will features cartridge space games and a unique design controller. Oh my god. Wait, okay. Oh, we're above. Yes. We've lost fan. I'm gonna go cram myself to sleep again. Alright, guys, we're gonna generate the game report here. Oh, damn, I'm s still upset because of that. Why'd they do that to me? Oh. Uh, now the market and sold 8,000 copies. Units generating 61,000 in sales. Yes, okay. We need these. I'll get into these later. This is what you need to like build like research topics and other things. Okay, post pop movies is a great combination. Story and quest seems to be seems not to be not important in this type of game. Platform genre G sixty four and action good. Okay. Um, we don't have enough to make a new game. Uh, I don't know how we're damn. Um yeah, we're gonna do a UFO space game this time. Um action and Okay. Um Destroy all oh. Dest destroy all spiders th three no I mean just de just destroy no 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 um just destroy all there um just kill all humans next um we don't have enough here so we're gonna have to go with the text based <sighs> We're gonna have to do a text based game. We have no choice. Gameplay, storing quests. Oh my gosh. Jesus, we're getting bugs like crazy. Oh yes, the new test Nevento has been released. Okay. Um, level design doesn't have to be that much. Artificial intelligence doesn't need that much. Dialogue doesn't need to be pretty big since it's text based. Um, uh, okay, we only need, um, just if we need five more. No, six more, and then wait, local news. I'm Caroline Interest from the local news. I've heard rumors that you're already working on your next game and would love to do an interview about you. Do you have some time? Uh, sure. Great, thank you for your time. The image should be published soon. Okay, the sound may be pretty good here. The graphics don't need to be that great. World design doesn't need to be that great. Shits and goggles have started a local 
a local startup is trying to make it big in the gaming industry. The company has already published two games and is working on is working hard on their next. In an interview with the founder, Player said that the next game is going to be a UFO action game, something that the company has not done before. And it it's great to see small local companies entering excited new industries. All the best of luck to shits and goggles. Ah, uh, crap, I forgot to name my freaking person. <laughs> a developing the great game um, is not the only recipe for success. It is essential to build hype to ensure that your players are excited about your game. In the beginning of the career, hype is most generated through random events, but once you gain more experience, you can use marketing and other strategies to generate hype. We need to get rid of these bugs, guys. Help! Oh, one more bug. There you go. Okay. Oh, yes, we have enough. Yes. We needed that a lot. Okay. So we're going to release game. We are negative $30,000. First reviews in a newly released game. Kill all humans came in. I saw an 8 in there. Not bad, not good. Fun at stages. Okay. Actually, it seems to work well on the G64. So how much money are we breaking in here, boys? What? Come on, guys. We need another 15,000 here. Wait. Um. Okay. Come on, another eight hundred dollars here, boys. Hell yeah! But we're not gonna have enough here to be able to make a new game. We need at least twenty-five thousand to make a game. Oh, wait, find contract here. Wait, let's generate a game report first. Um, okay. Um, okay, we're still growing. Um, sales record was over 10,000 units sold. This is an important milestone in the history of shits and goggles. Okay. Post released um, anal analysis on kill all humans is complete, and we got the following results. World design C is not to be very important for this type of game. That's literally all you could give me. Are you fucking serious? Okay, um, so we're gonna do, we're gonna go here, we're gonna go to research, custom game engine, and then kill all humans off the market until 7,900 copies, pulling in 76,000 in sales. Okay, well, what we're gonna be doing here is we're creating our, our own custom game engine, how, like, we have the game engine that we're running off only allows us to do basic sounds and 2D games, so... If we do this, we sh- Wait, you have six research custom game engine. You can now create your own game engines and start- And get- ugh. S To get started, close this message and click anywhere to bring up the action menu. Okay. Uh, create custom engine. Ah, uh, damn. This is a lot of money. Okay, we can't do that right now. We're gonna do fun contract work. Decide carefully what contract you accept. If you miss a deadline for a contract, you have to pay a penalty, so it's better off to start up with smaller contracts and see how much you can handle. Okay, let's start this. Are we gonna finish this? Oh, fuck. Uh, freaking crap. Wait, nice job. We transferred 19,000 to your account. Yes! Um, I just got the world from a client. Contract was com uh, completed successfully. Excellent work. I have a new context contracts every six months, so check in back soon. Okay. So, sorry if I keep on, like, messing up while I'm talking. Um, 
It's 5 a.m. So yeah. Okay, let's start out with this one. Okay, we did it. Okay. We should have enough to create a new game. We're gonna do one more contract. Oh, we're not gonna do this. But we might, we might. Quick, boys! <sighs> no! We just lost $19,000. Oh, only 8,000. But then we're not. Oh, my Jesus. <sighs> Contract, right? There are no contracts currently available. Research, new topic. We're gonna do superheroes. Okay. Okay, we're at year two, month twelve. Okay, we just hit three years, um, in one week. Okay, successfully research reason. Yeah, suggests that the increasing variety of gaming devices will also create a market for more specialized games. Some platforms become more popular with younger gamers, with other caters for more mature age groups. As more of, the, ah, I can't talk right now. I'm so sorry. As more of the, as more and more developers enter the market, we expect developers to focus their games on specific age groups to really make an impact. Target. No research available to target audience. We have six thousand and nine. Sixty-nine. <laughs> okay, he said create a custom engine, but. If we did this, we'd have to like, if we did all that, there'd be $90,000. This would automatically overdraw my bank account. We don't have enough money for any of this. Oh, we're gonna die, guys. This isn't gonna work. We're gonna have to create one new game. And if we can't do this. Okay, we're gonna do, mm, create a sequel, jump in. Uh, jump in three. I don't remember. Was it Fallout New Vegas then Fallout Three, or was it Fallout Three then Fallout New Vegas? Alright, uh, we're gonna do jump in two. Jump in three. I don't know. Okay, pick topic. Post-apocalyptic. Pick genre. Um, should we do an RP? Not action. And. License cost eighty thousand dollars. We're gonna go back here, I guess. Uh, we're gonna have to do two D graphics since the last one was two D graphics. Oh my god! On the following massive success of the test console, there are new rumors circulating the air that the Vina um, of another Japanese company is planning to release a home gaming console of their own. Come on, boys. I got this. Oh my gosh. We're gonna go bankrupt. No, six more thousand dollars and we're bankrupt. Oh, thank God. Please don't overcharge me right now. Yes, we all leveled up. Okay. Research, game tutorials, and mono sound. Yes. Okay, quick, guys. Okay, come on, dude. Um, today, Vina has confirmed a recent rumors about a new gaming console, and the Master 5 company claims that the Master 5 is technically superior as it has been Evento release. Okay. Um, first release for a no game, jumping in through Game in. Come 
come on. Do me better than this. I... Uh... Hey, give me money. No, wait, so you're financially nuisance. We are willing to offer you many credit. Um, wait. We give you six. We'll give you sixty-eight thousand to cover up the cost, and expect to be paid back the full amount plus a small limitation fee of twenty thousand dollars in two months' time. Guys, it's either we quit now or we get a loan. Oh, let's get a loan. Well, we already have enough to pay them back. <laughs> we got this. Okay. The amount of 93000 has been deducted from your account. Why? Ah, for fuck's sake. Um, Jump 3 is now at the market, so 96,000 in sales. Okay, we're gonna try to find contact. Okay. So here we go. Um. Okay. Let's go here. Hey, we got this. Um, uh, okay, that got released. Alright. Okay, so anyway guys, thank you all for watching this first episode, and if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button down below, and if you're new to my channel, subscribe, and I will see you guys later in the next video. Goodbye.